She just wanna get high And I just wanna get high I would go, go, go If I felt like it was right Wish we could fly Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'm gonna make a Nespen edit. I'm sure you have heard of Nespen these days. he been blowing up. His music videos are super dope. So the footage and the music I'm gonna use is that one song from Nespen. It got removed for some copyright issues, but it was a really banger video. And now in my comp, you can see all of this clip I lined up in Premiere Pro. Let me show you real quick. You can see I lined up, lined it up in Premiere Pro, and right click it, like right click it, and replace with After Effects. And we are in here in After Effects. We're gonna add the effects on here. I think in this first two clip, at the first, I'm gonna add a Twixter at the first clip. If you don't know what this Twixter is, nah, Twixter Pro. If you don't know what the Twixter is, it just allows you to create those insane slow mo you see in bunch of anime edits, movie edits, and music video edits for sure so we're gonna go over to here in speed and just lower it down as the as the footage moves uh, like around here so we have a slow-mo like that you can even go more slower like 30 30 looks really cool and we're gonna add, add twixter in these two i'm gonna use twixter a lot because it is the sauce when it comes to like creating slow-mo 30 as well that looks super dope right there uh i think i'm gonna time ramp this to like bump this amount to 160 so it goes at fast at the last. I'm going to easy those keyframes for sure. And at the start, I really like to add some black and white, black and white effect. And and as it goes, it turns into like the normal colors. So let's just pre-comp both of these for now. I'm gonna go to the pre-comp as well. Add a simple zoom in here. Just keyframe my skill like this. And using flow, I'm gonna just add this graph right there. So it's like a zoom in like that. You can turn on the motion blur as well. Also, I'm gonna copy that into my another clip as i was saying in this two first clip i'm gonna add a black and white effect to do that you can add like a simple black and white like that but for me i'm gonna use my preset pack i'm gonna use grunge ultimate bundle it's really dope for this type of edits where you have those grungy looks and effects i really love those so i'm gonna add an adjustment layer and go into animated preset if you like to download the link will be in the description it's a totally dope preset pack so i'm gonna open up the arrow and the grunts as well and i'm gonna add cit synth one in here firstly the cit synth is really good and in hue i'm gonna lower down the hue to zero that already looks super dope bro if you don't know the grunge add-on is a separate pack and uh default is a separate pack and i bundle them together so the grunge add-on requires sapphire as you can see all of these sapphire effects on it and it looks pretty cool also i have the default and there's completely different looks and in default you don't need any like plugins and stuff but in the beginning scene it looks really dope i'm gonna add like a adjustment layer and lower down the opacity of it nah I'm, i mean a solid layer sorry and set it to overlay or something like that nah so overlay doesn't look good this beginning scene looks pretty cool to me right now so i'm gonna add text in here so he says see just won't get high right yes she just wanna I think wanna right there get high and when it says gay high i'm gonna like uh, split this layer and make it into a normal color footage uh maybe like lower it down more like that she's gonna get high she's gonna get high that looks super dope that intro is a killer for sure if you like to you can also like change the blending mode to difference as well and a deep glow to drop it all off uh i don't feel the deep glow at all i'm gonna add an optical glow and see how it looks lower down the amount that looks pretty cool i like that we can also play around with the blending mode much also one thing you can do is like chop it off and play with the set spellings right like that so it like turns into something else as we go like that that looks pretty cool so i'm gonna do this with this too and after that my uh, text animation looks something like this uh let's just see hey, how it looks I think the RSMB is messing it up. She just get high. Then we can add a, a trick on these two as well. 
and add like a simple zoom in and also a shake to top it all off set the shake frequency to like two and play with the amount also you can go with the tilt shake and bring it up a bit so it like tilting as well so go like that it should end over here zero and we're gonna just add a simple flow animation and i also like to like change the blending mode of it to like let's just say the two screen simple screen or like lower down the amount opacity of it yeah that looks pretty dope and a chromatic aberration would look really cool on it yeah. that's a killer for sure okay our intro scene is done so i'm gonna add a sick right here when the 808 hits so i'm gonna use my sick pack for that so let's just go to sd and add the distort sick i really love this one i think it fits the aesthetic perfectly as well that looks super dope bro if you have like these type of clipping into the edges you can add like a motion tile as well onto this because sapphire motion tile is not that good and put it before if you want to download this sick pack i will also leave this in the description now i'm gonna just repeat those tips like add like a twixter i like all of my preset and stuff so i'm gonna just speed run this so let's just add a twixter speed and set it to 30 and as always bring up the amount at the last that's a really cool slow-mo uh, i think i'm gonna add the double clip that looks super fire bro also like adjust these and a simple scale as well a scale animation put the anchor point on him and a scale animation like that so it's just like a repeated stuff but like staying consistent with the effects really helps you your edit to like level up like creating your own style as well all of the big editors you see on instagram and stuff they have their own style so i really recommend you to like edit more and like create your own style because it gonna help bro for sure and i think i'm gonna add uh and i think from the default i'm gonna add a negative into this like like a one framer so let's just set it to one frame so i'm gonna just copy this again and put it somewhere around here and put one in the beginning as well and that looks super fire so another zoom into this would look really cool as well now for the transition i'm also gonna use my grunge fx it also comes with a lot of overlays so let's just find them so i'm gonna use grunge abron or overlays and let's just use some of these overlays from here so i really like one like walk fast yeah i really like this one so we're gonna add this one at here and lower down the size for sure because it's too big for my scene and set it to color doors that looks super cool bro you can add like a LS, hls as well and mess with the five with of the color slow for me let's just speed it up as well and remove this because we'll just set it to red now i'm going to create a zoom animation here too so i'm going to add a motion tile in it and set it to 200 by 200 i'm just going to like speed run this you know like let's just set it to let's just scale out a bit and add a simple graph in it as well that looks super dope uh scale it up more uh pre-comp these as well head into the pre-comp add a motion blur for sure and also like create a null adjustment and set the anchor point to somewhere around here and scale it out make sure it links to when it scales out a uh, twixter will be really good and bring up the amount at the last as well and from the grunge default i'm gonna add a black and white glow in it man that looks super dope i'm not even capping bro that's one click bro a lot of these effects in just one click with my with my grunge job bundle you can like create crazy effect with just one click so as you can see that looks super crazy i don't even have to brag or something like that you can see it with your eyes the link will be in the description and you already know <laughs> so let's just head into my main com i think i'm gonna copy these flashes and put it in here too when it like zooms out like here here like that one framers these are killer one framers to be honest 
I really like these. And for this scene right here, I think I'm gonna do the slow mo again. Cause slow mo is the sauce, bro. You already know the drill of the slow mo. So let's just let me just do it real quick. And if I sound like weird, cause this is the next day. Um, this is the day two of editing this. I fell in sleep last day. Let's just bring up the amount at the last again. And if you don't have flow, I really highly recommend getting it. It's the best plugin ever. It saves a lot of time. I think I'll flash to transition or go, go hard. And I'll distort chroma onto this. Bring up the amount and just animate it. That looks super cool. Damn. Also, I think I'm gonna add a preset from my preset pack as well. Let's see how black and white works with this. So default black and white. That looks super hard. Uh, let me just relocate or reposition the vignette. Something like that something like that and put this distort chroma on before the black and white oh man that's hard that's super hard and when it says like go 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 i'm gonna pre-comp all of these clips uh, and move it go into pre-comp and add some text into it like we did in the intro so go right uh, and lower down the side but anyways let's just did it how we did it with in the beginning like this after this copy all of these paste it right here and for the go i'm just gonna add another oh if that makes sense right there go 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 and like that copy all of these paste it in here as well and another uh like around here and another another what do we call it oh yeah oh go 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 and at the end copy these animations and trim it till here as well like that mm, and something like that as well i'm going to select all of these i'm going to select all of these put this pre composite so it's on single layer added a deep glow lower the lower the amount and set the blending mode overlay that looks super cool oh man and to top it off another preset uh what we gonna use coast let's try it this thing insane i use my packs all the time like every music video i do yeah every music video do, that i do i use my pack all the time it saves a lot of time for sure that looks super high also some like zooms in the scene would look pretty cool if i'm right not too much like 20 120 to 0 and turn on motion blur copy all of these into here perfect go 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 and this eto hit right here so for the eto hit i'm gonna add a sick from my sick bag i think i'm gonna use like distort sick 5 with this like opium looks the distort 6 really goes hard there that looks super hard and also if you like working with like different dimensions then 4k and sd you can just replace the motion tile and your tiling will be fixed so let's just replace the motion tile put it before all of these and we are we are gucci and going into my sick going into y and x i'm gonna lower down the x and bring up the y that's super smooth i love that also some flash in the, in the transition how that looks copy these paste it here paste it here super dope and for this scene there's a gap right here as you can see i put it this gap intentionally because i want like a reverse in it so i'm gonna show you how to do that as well i'm gonna add a twixter right here and make a slow-mo when he puts his hand right there make a slow-mo like that and from here i'm gonna add the reverse effect for that add a new keyframe and put the value on minus so like minus 1000 would go hard and for the graph i'm gonna use flow as well like, like this and in the end you can like lower down the reverse as well and graph like this and to chop it all off or zoom and i'll copy this sake as well in here and also from preset pack black and white glow and a double clip from the add-on and line it up in the beginning so we have the prism effect going on the beginning like that and reposition the warp repeat as well i think a deep glow would go hard with this for sure like a 
deep glow and set it to zero and then oh no my after effects are about to crash <laughs> i shouldn't have added the deep glow now i think you get the process of making an edit so i'm gonna go through and add all of those effects and and see you guys at the end there was like five seconds left so i thought this timeline would work so the thing i did in it is like i added more effects in the parts where it wasn't completed then i exported the clip from after effects and bring it again in premiere pro and in premiere pro i started adding sound effects i added some sound effects from my bro brian and tiny tips pack i used susus and riser pack from tiny tips and the essential sound from brian and also some other sounds from epidemic sound also if you want to download those sound effects pack i'll leave it in the description for the essential sound from brian you, you can use the code asim to get five dollar off and for the tiny zip succession risers pack you can use the code asim5 to get five dollar off added all of those texture sound effects like the fires and stuff and sound effects really made the visuals alive and my final result looks something like this she just won't get high So the full edit will be in Instagram if you wanna check it out. My Instagram handle is erdaletasimnawag. So that's it for today's video guys. If you like this video, please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Check my digital store, download the grunge FX, it's really the killer. So yeah, see you in next video. Peace.